Gen Z's expectations need to be shocked. Give you a little insight on Gen Z. The irony of this video is that he wants Gen Z to change. I really think people need to stop pointing fingers and criticizing Gen Z and instead understand the reasons why they may not be motivated to participate in a flawed system. At the risk of pissing everybody off, this is what I really think. And I'm saying even more, I'm really glad you engaged with me. And I see Gen Z small business owners all the time, startups, aspirational people. They maybe aren't cage fighters, but I find them as pretty smart, well-researched, highly aspirational, wanting to achieve, well-educated, probably a little naive in that they haven't got much experience. All I wanna do is give you a leg up. That's all I'm trying to do as a proprietor. As a business owner myself, and I've been around a long time and I own lots of different businesses and I have lots of employees work for me. And I'm a fair proxy to all the other employers out there. If, if Gen Z is expecting other generations who they work for to trust them, then that's a false hope because there is no way someone's gonna trust you if they don't know what you're doing, if they don't know you. They can't know what you're doing if they don't know you and they can't know you if they don't see you. So. If you want to be a, a remote worker or work at home all the time, then what you're doing is you're creating a mistrust environment. And that's just never going to fly. Particularly with a generation of people who are looking at you, watching over you, paying you, paying your wages, they grew up in this trust environment. So they understand how important familiarity is. And to build familiarity, you need to be present with those individuals. Maybe over time, a couple of years, you can build that trust element such that your employer might say, you know what, I get it, I trust you, I'm gonna let you go and do it two or three days a week, five days a week, work from home. But you have gotta build that first. The only way you build trust is through others knowing that they can trust you. And the only way that happens is through familiarity. And the only way familiarity works, it doesn't work through Zoom, it doesn't work remotely, it doesn't work through a telephone or an email, it works by me actually seeing you in front of me, watching your output, how you interact with all your colleagues, how you interact with me, but just generally, as I walk past you, as you walk past me, does he come, up in, come in on time? Does he or she work a bit later? Do they down tools the moment you know, the, the, the siren goes? Or do they work back later? All these things you probably do when you work from home, at home anyway. But if I can't see it, then I can't know it, therefore I can't trust you. That's where that trust mismatch comes from. Just because you worked remotely in the past, I had to trust you because we locked down, we, we couldn't do it any other way. I had no choice as an employer, just no choice. But now I have a choice. And by the way, I had no choice more recently because the low unemployment number, our borders were closed. I couldn't employ anybody else. So I couldn't say to you, listen, I don't like the way you work. See you later, I'm gonna go employ someone else because I couldn't employ anyone else. There was no one else to employ. If all of a sudden, that number changes. And if all of a sudden, me, the employer, I get choices, and believe me, these things come in cycles. Employers will get choices. At some stage, employers will get choices again. Then employers are gonna say, well, I don't really know this person because I've never actually clapped eyes on them. Before I had to cop it sweet. But now I don't have to because I now got a choice. Just like employees had a choice before. Now employers are gonna have a choice. This is what happens in business. It's all about swings and roundabouts. It's about you being smart, clever, and you've got to have a good understanding, which is why I'm talking to you about this now, is that the swing is starting to go the other way. And employees are gonna say, I've got choices. I don't really know if you're any good because I've, you've never bothered to show me what you do. I've never had, had an opportunity to watch you. I'm not familiar with you. I don't understand how you operate. Another dude down the road wants your job. And this dude down the road is the same price as you are. And I know this dude. This dude's coming to see me and I've seen them work or they've got references from somebody else, etc. I might give the other dude a go. Be careful. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing. Things change. Markets are dynamic. And we're in a really dynamic market at the moment. It's just we've just got to be careful. So my go, my go is, well, my advice is, you want to impress your boss your employer, and you're not getting what you think you're entitled to, working from home or working remotely, let them become familiar with the way you operate. And the only way you can do that is be in their face.